The Corporate Raider's Handbook by Mitt Romney For All Young Aspiring Executives Leverage Buyouts. What are they? How do they work? First, you need to select the company that's a good target. You want a company with decent management and a dedicated workforce. You'll only need a small amount of your own money. You'll borrow the rest from an investment bank. Usually a bank requires collateral to get a loan. Now here's what's wonderful about leverage buyouts. You can pledge the company that you haven't even bought yet as collateral for the loan. That means that you won't owe the bank any money the company will owe the money. You then buy at least 50% of the company's stock in order to gain control. You buy out the remaining stock, taking the company private. The company is now your private property and you can do whatever you want with it. You don't need to know how to run a paper company. You can let the existing managers do that. What you'll do is take its profits, you'll slash its budget to generate more profits. If you chose a company with dedicated workers, they'll be willing to take wage cuts or work extra hours to keep their jobs. The management may find that they need to fire workers to balance the budget. You'll let them figure that out. You can raise a lot more money by having the company borrow it. This, of course, increases the company's debt. When you've taken as much money as you can, you take the company public again and sell all its stock. Those buying the stock won't be aware yet of the company's terrible financial condition. The company's workers will try desperately to keep the business from falling apart. With its huge debt payments, it won't make much money and will need to fire more workers. If the company goes bankrupt, the bank will sell its assets to pay off the debt. But those aren't your problems anymore. You're on to your next big deal. Mitt Romney made all of his money in leveraged buyouts. He bankrupted what was originally solid companies all around the country and put tens of thousands of people out of work. His takeover of stage stores was worked through Michael Milken, under federal investigation at the time, and shortly thereafter indicted on 98 counts of racketeering and fraud. Romney got almost all his campaign contributions, promising to free banks and Wall Street from regulation. His top contributors are the very same financial firms that received the taxpayer bailouts, so the U.S. taxpayers are financing his campaign.